Let's face it, the world is a dangerous place. School shootings have become all too common. We're on the verge of civil unrest every day and natural disasters are on the rise. Protecting people and property must take priority, beginning at the perimeter of a building which has a huge weakness, glass. The Sandy Hook and Covenant School perpetrator in Nashville gained access through the building by breaking the glass. Rioters and looters shattered storefronts to pillage retailers during the civil unrest of 2020. Assailants broke windows on January 6. Innocent victims were injured or worse by flying shards of glass in the Oklahoma City, Boston Marathon bombings, and 9-11 terrorist attacks. Flying debris caused by natural disasters has shattered countless glass doors and windows in buildings and unfortunately injured the occupants within. Thankfully, there's a simple solution that allows us to enjoy the positive benefits of glass while mitigating the hazards of broken glass, security window films. So what are they and how did they come about? 3M developed security films in response to the London bombings in the 70s as a glass fragmentation retention solution. The next evolution of security films happened in 1995 when 3M patented its micro-layer technology with the introduction of Ultra S800. The interwoven layers made it more difficult to tear, expanding security film capabilities to help delay forced entry attempts in retail stores, schools, universities, commercial and government buildings. So what is security film? Traditional security films are made out of multiple layers of optically clear, thin polyester sheets that are adhered to the glass with a pressure-sensitive adhesive. They range in thickness from 8 to 15 mil and are retrofitted to existing glass. An attachment system such as 3M's impact protection adhesive anchors the film and the glass to the frame to hold it in place when it's under stress. Security films can prevent glass from becoming airborne during a bomb blast, delay a forced entry attempt in a school or retail store, and create a visual barrier if tinted. What's more is dual function solar security films can improve building energy efficiency by reflecting infrared solar radiation, which is the primary cause of heat. Today, security films are recommended by the final report of the Sandy Hook Advisory Commission, the Federal Commission on School Safety, and the Partnership Alliance for Safety Schools, or PASS. Security films have been mandated for schools in multiple states and are under consideration throughout the country. But if that's not enough to make you a believer, I'm here to tell you that security films just got even better. Nearly 30 years after the birth of security film, NGS partnered with 3M to test the next innovation of glazing security, 3M S2400. Unlike traditional polyester films, 3M S2400 is made of polyurethane, which enables it to absorb energy upon impact. In fact, this material achieves 560% elongation of break compared to a 23 mil thick polyester film that broke at only 130% elongation. That makes 3M S2400 four times better at resisting breach. Let's put it to the test. The most important indicator of a security film's ability to delay breach from a forced entry event is its ability to resist tearing. Here are four pieces of security film. An eight mil, a 23 mil, 45 mil and 3M S2400. Let's see how they perform when I attempt to tear them. There's your 8 mil. There's your 23 mil. And this is a 45 mil, which is three 15 mil layers laminated together. Tears like a piece of paper once it's breached. And here's your S2400. <clears throat> well, as you can see, the material type is more important than the mill or thickness because this is only 24 mil and you obviously saw how the 45 mil perform. There are aftermarket security films that are laminated together by companies that are not manufacturers to achieve thicknesses such as this 45 mil. They're even touted as bulletproof security film let me be clear, there is no such thing as a bulletproof security film. In fact, 
The International Wounded Film Association released an official statement that says the IWFA has the utmost concern about any written specification or recommendation that would call for the use of any type of window film, such as a safety or security film, as the primary component of a bullet-resistant glazing. And in today's day and age, your people and property are at risk. An unprotected glass is a significant weakness. Understanding the response time of your local law enforcement is key to evaluating how to secure your entrances. We've surveyed hundreds of retail loss prevention professionals, school safety experts, and building security leaders about glazing security. And here's what we found. By the numbers, 92% of retailers experience break-ins and break-in attempts every single year. 51% of campus safety experts believe their glass doors and windows are the perimeter security systems that would most likely fail and allow an intruder to gain unauthorized access to their campus. 83% of retail leaders indicated that first responders typically do not arrive quickly enough to reduce loss. And 54% of campus safety experts don't believe law enforcement will arrive to prevent intruder from gaining access through the glass. The numbers speak for themselves. Glass needs to be protected. But numbers are numbers, not humans. And every human life is precious. This is why we're on a mission to protect people and property by making buildings better. So take action today. Protect your people and property with the latest security glazing innovations from the largest and most trusted firm in the industry, NGS.